name is Arthur Kirkland. Um, I've been asked to answer some questions for you all. Um, this is our YouTube channel. I've never really uh, done Cannibals! <laughs> yes! You know who Oh! <laughs> you know who this one is. <sighs> oh, how's it going, dude? My name's America. I'm the hero, otherwise known as Alfred F. Jones, otherwise known as the United States of America, otherwise known as the greatest country to ever exist on this planet. That's completely not true. I had the greatest empire. You're not the greatest country on the planet. I'm still the greatest country on the planet. That's the way you like to think. I mean, yep, you are. Anyway, anyway, we've been asked to answer some questions that we've gotten on our sit. We've been at you're making me nervous. Stop it. We what happens when you're nervous, Alfred? Have been asked to uh uh answer questions answer questions that you guys have sent us. Um so we are just going to take turns. Some are for me, some are for him. Most of them are for me. Even if they are for him, I'm just gonna answer them anyway because I know they're technically for me. So, you know. Anyway, so we have a list here that we're just going to start from the top. Why else would you stop? <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> Go up. Yep. Alright then. Um, the first one is Stalin or Hitler? Who is the most dangerous? Well, for me, Hitler was certainly the most dangerous since I was part of Europe and he was the closest to me. And um, he bombed me. Over and over and over again. I think we got the point, bruh. Anyway, I would say Stalin. I mean, coming from the perspective of me, Stalin was definitely did more damage to me personally than Hitler did. I mean, if you were... This was a question towards European countries. I can see why they would say Hitler. But for me, I would say Stalin. During World War II, Stalin had manipulated your bosses, but he, he affected your U.S.'s and your relationship. Yes. During Maybe. World War II. More, more like after, after. after World War II. Because we were allies mm -hmm. by the Axis, and then afterwards we had this meeting in Yalta, or our bosses had the meeting in Yalta. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really liked where Russia was going, because we kind of had the same objectives or plans for the future, so I, I guess I kind of wanted to be all buddy-buddy with Russia, and he was telling me not to, and I was an idiot for it, and naturally I didn't listen to him, and I probably, maybe, should have listened to me for once in his life. Maybe. Maybe. It's like a sliver. No, it's pretty definite. He, he should have listened to me, because then there was this thing called the Cold War that you went through. Yeah, and let's not talk about that. All right, then. Moving on. Did you like FDR? Yes, I did like FDR. FDR uh, was wonderful. Uh, that was a question to me, not you. But he's my president. I don't care. It was a question to me. Well, I'm going to answer it anyway. And FDR is awesome because he's one of my presidents. Like, when is, like, one of my presidents never awesome? Many times. Name one that wasn't George awesome. George Washington. George Washington was not a president when he pissed you off. Do I like my waiter outfit? My waiter outfit consists of a black box, pretty much of fat. I do. I like his waiter outfit. We know why he likes my waiter outfit. Um, why did Japan team along with Germany during World War II, as you both were supposed to be friends, you and Japan, you being this one, since 1902? Pretty much, Japan just chose poorly. He chose very, very poorly, and he should have gone along with us. And then he decided to mess with the wrong country, a.k.a. But this one does not seem to realize that the World War II actually began before he got in it. Well, I'm sorry. I was going through a depression at the time. I was a little focused on myself. So was the rest of us. The entire world was going through a depression. But mine was not just yours. But mine was a great depression. Why does America not say favorite, colors, learnt, or other British forms? So pretty much, why does he not use the letter U 
in any word that should have a U. Because there doesn't need to be a U. You don't pronounce the U. That's how take it out. And that's how I wrote it. It's my it's language. language. Well, whatever. It was wrong, so I fixed it. You did not fix it. No, you I say it, it in the word favorite. So then take out the favor. So then take out the O. Take out the favor. Yeah, you just have rich. <laughs> no, I meant I was just pronouncing it so I know what vowel it was. You need to work on your pronunciation. The real answer to this question is because I just really wanted to piss him off at the time. Is Nessie your pet? Nessie is not my pet. Nessie would be Scotland's pet, and I don't talk to him very often. Is Nantucket America's real erogenous zone? Let's check! Not on camera! Not on camera! Not on camera! Not on camera! You can frick frack with any person. What is frick frack? Uh, you can frick frack with any person like, in country of your choosing. You really. I understand you can frick frack with any person, thing, country of your choosing. Who will it be? Are you a huggy person? Yes, he is. He's the most huggable person on the face of the planet. I mean, just like look at him. Like he's the most, like like he's just like he's like perfect hugging size. No, I'm not. Why do you call yourself by your human name? Well, I've been known by a lot of different names across history. I've been known as England, Britain, Great Britain, United Kingdom, but Arthur Kirkland is the one thing that stays the same for me. How many eyebrows have you got? I have two, like everyone else. I don't, I don't understand. Yes, 70. Don't let him lie to you. No, I don't. They're like caterpillars and they molt and then they like fall off, but then they like grow back. They do and not! Then, and then they turn into butterflies. Shut, shut, oh, mm -hmm. shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. But they're pretty butterflies. That doesn't make it better. All right, between 1815 and 1914, did anything happen to you in America together? Together. Or uh, well, or you just kept ooh, ignoring yourself. 18, 1815, okay, so that's after you tried to burn my capital. Yes, it was on the ground. Right, so 1815 Please. to 1914. 1914. Well, let's see. Well, I was going through my civil war, mm -hmm. which you decided to piss me off by helping the Confederate side, or wanting to help the Confederate side. Mm -hmm. um, so I was still kind of mad about that. And then we went through the Boxer Rebellion, which we kind of fought on the same team, but I was just kind of like, mm, meh. But then after that, there was the Great Reproachment, which I, I don't know if you all look this up on the Wiki, 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 Wikipedia, or the, the Wiki, as he likes to call it, the Wiki. The Wiki. You get it. The Wiki. All right, I did it right. Um, the first section is called Mixed Feelings. Since the American Revolution, the United States and the British Empire's relationship had been troubled. <laughs> there had been the War of 1812, U.S.-Canadian border disputes, and the general suspicion between the two. Are you okay? <laughs> the U.S. was seen as a potential threat by the British Empire. Damn straight. And the latter was seen by the former as the antique and aristocratic empire that had ruled oh, them. I was oh, not aristocratic. Oh, antique. Uh, no, oh, antique. That does oh, not mean old. Old, that means antique. No, it's old. Does it get off? Oh, get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Stop that. Yeah, yeah, you that a space. yeah, I mean, you know, that's not as big as the Atlantic Ocean, but that can happen. C continue answering your question. Apparently, I'm not allowed to answer this question. No, you're not. However, however, the Americans were aware of how much they owed their British background, and the British institutions had always contrasted favorably against their European counterparts. So, you realized how much that you owed me. Our ideals became more in line during that moment. Yes. And that started, period. Yes, but we started having to talk again and communicate effectively. He wasn't too good at that, right?
Anyway, um, how did you start embroidery? <laughs> this definitely is not to me, because I don't do anything girl. I'm sorry, I'm an island, I needed a hobby. And it's... So you sew? Effective. It's embroidery. It's like sewing is taking two pieces of fabric and putting them together. Embroidery Unboard. is like... It's like Unboard. drawing or painting in red. Embroidered. How? How? That was a good hit. <laughs> I mean, I didn't hurt at all. I didn't, You're such a baby. I didn't feel anything. You're such a baby. Go to the next question. Scones or crumpets? That's hard. Neither. They both taste horrible. They do not. They taste delicious. They I taste like, like petrified couch stuffing. Because you would know what that tastes like. It's an expression. You work through that. Pizza or burgers? The burger! This was actually asked to me. It actually wasn't a question. Well, because they already know what I'm going to answer. So, of course, they ask it to you. I think it's easier to eat pizza with a fork and a knife than it is for burgers. Burgers are alright, though, I suppose. If you had to choose to visit Greenland or Russia, which would you choose? Um, well, I don't know what the heck is in Greenland. I don't even know where Greenland is. Greenland's a country? Yes, Greenland is a country. It's well, whatever Greenland cold. is, I would much rather go there. It's all icy. I would much rather stay at my house. Wait, why is it called Greenland if it's made of ice? Well, Iceland is green. I think I broke him. What's your favorite tea? English breakfast tea. My favorite is Boston tea. Party. If you and Alfred could adopt or have a kid, what would you name them? Names for both a girl Ooh. and a boy. Are you excited to answer this question? Maybe. Let's go on. Um. Oh, I think I would really want a girl. I would name her Abigail, like after Abigail Adams, who was one of the most awesome first ladies I've ever had, ever. She's awesome. Ever? Ever. Ever. In the history of ever. I think that I would name them, if it was a girl, I would name them Anne or Diana or Alice. And if it was a boy, I would name them Edward or Henry. But there's been like 12 Henrys. That's the point. It's tradition. But there's like 12 of them. So he would be the 13th. But he's not a king, technically. He would be You awesome. You all like reuse the same names, like, over and over and over again. Because it pays homage to the people before them. It's a tradition. It's an honor. Whatever. Well, I think there's enough honor when you have 12. Like, I think that's, like, on the honor meter, it's, like, off it. That's, like, oh, over I'm there. Down. That's, like, <laughs> over there, down the street and around the corner. Wow. That's an intense amount of honor. Why isn't the U.S. in your commonwealth? Who asked this? No, really, like, who asked this? Really? Have we heard of the Revolutionary War? Let me tell y'all a little story. It's called opening a history textbook and looking up the period around, like, 1776 to the early 1780s. Give or take. Give or take a few years, yeah, just, like, just go over that. How did you react in 2001, more well, precisely 9-11? Alfred can't exactly talk about that time. Um, it was rather difficult for him and for both of us because we we didn't know what was going to happen. Hey Arthur, are you a cat person or do you like dogs? I like cats. They require less attention and um, I pretty much already have a dog. Well, I like I need, dogs. I need constant attention. Because dogs are more fun and you can play with them and they actually like want to see you when you come home. Cats are just like... Well, all cats are like that. Yeah, they are. They're like evil. They're not evil. They're evil. They're not evil. All black cats are evil. They are not. They're like witches, cats. That is a superstition. I can just use black magic. I'm a nation like you. I just, I happen to have 
have a knowledge of black magic that I can use at my disposal to terrify you every Halloween. I got you back this year, though. The first year, yay, you won once. And you needed help, so it wasn't really you. It was a team effort. So it go about things. Yeah, team! You do not do our crowd with teams. There's no I in team, but there's an I in America. And there's no you in freedom! Oh! I hate you so much. Is it true that you used to wet the bed when you were little? No. I didn't wet the bed. Stop telling them lies. I'm not telling them lies. I'm being completely truthful. You would get terrified when you were young. Why are you embarrassing me on camera? Because it's easy. Like you. <laughs> Define freedom. America. What is true love? I don't really know how to explain it in words, but if I could like explain it like through like visuals and feeling, it's like when I saw or like ate, yeah, when I ate like a burger for the first time and my body just got all like warm and tingly and I was like, what is this? It's amazing. I'm addicted to it. And and then I just like lost my mind. I couldn't even think of anything else. It was yes, yeah. yes, yeah, exactly like that. That's what it feels like. Quick, first thing to come to your mind when you see each other. First word, say it. One, two, three. Eyebrows. Burger breath. Do you hate friends? Why well, was this? Okay, we don't have time for this question. Like we don't have time for this question. There's not enough camera space to answer this question. Let's just go to the next one. Do I hate France? Well, I like France. Why? Because he helped me become a nation. He's a useless, ridiculous, wine-loving, smelly frog face. Shh. Before, before you shout obscenities on camera. Your opinion on Russia, Mexico, and Canada, and Romano. Hey, Russia, well, he kind of, my opinion, okay, he kind of, kind of creeps me out recently because, like, I can see him from my house in Alaska, and, like, he'll, like, look over and, like, watch me while I'm sleeping, and it kind of creeps me out. I don't know if he's just doing it to wake me out or, like, freak me out or whatever, but that's, like, really, really weird. And then Russia and I have had a very complicated angsty history with each other, if that answers any more about that. And then Mexico, don't even get me started on Mexico, don't even get me started on Mexico, oh my god, oh my god, I built a fence for a reason, okay. I built a fence for a reason, okay. and what does he do? He just keeps coming into my house without asking me, I'm like, bro, bro, just ask me and we'll like work something out, but no, instead he just like crashes like all of my parties, he just likes to sleep on my couch all the time, anyway, Canada, we're going to move on to Canada, <laughs> unless you have more to say about Mexico, your brother, Oh, Canadian. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Canadian. So, well, I, I would actually like to, like, have him, or petition for him to be called the North United States. I think it would be a lot easier that way, and that no one would forget who he was, because he was the North United States. We will never forget the United States. Exactly. You catch on well. Um, yeah, but I, I love Maddie. He's, he's cool. We, we watch, like, and play hockey all the time. And then the Olympics get really serious. Stanley Cup playoffs, man. It gets real, Holmes. But yeah, Maddie has my back, other than during my revolution. Um, They're not going to talk. That's but other than that, Maddie and I have each other's backs. We're the most peaceful uh, border in the world for, like, many, many years now. All right, Romano. Oh, right, Romano's at the end of this. Romano. Well, even though he calls me a burger bastard all the time, deep down, I know Luigi actually really cares for me. 
Did you ever meet the real Pocahontas? Yeah! Dude, Pocahontas, she was like so nice to me. But it was like, I, I still remember, I still like remember what she looked like clearly, even though I was like really, really little. But I do remember what she looked like. And uh, I actually introduced her to one of uh, England's, England's citizens, John Smith. And like, I felt really, really awesome because like they were finally like talking, but then England got really mad. Is it hard to explain to new presidents what you are exactly, the whole personification thing, and what's the funniest reason, reactions you've got when explaining to them? Is it hard to explain to new presidents? Well, it was at first. I mean, like, now, now, like, everyone knows of who I am. I mean, it's kind of hard to not know who I am. Uh, but like at the beginning, it was kind of confusing. Mine is, mine is G Dubs. G Dubs, we were like tight. Actually, all the founding father presidents, we were all really tight. So like Adams and Jefferson and Madison and what have you. Um, but I think the funniest one to explain was Andrew Jackson because he was just completely, completely schwasty faced when I told him. Well, like, see, like, when he got, when he became president, he decided to have a giant kegger on the White House lawn. Let me tell you, that was, like, one of the greatest parties I've ever been to in my life. Oh, my God, it was so awesome. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you weren't invited. Yeah. Anyway. Story of my life. Yeah, so I, I told him then. I actually introduced myself to him then. And I think he, I, I don't know, he went along with it, but he was actually really, really drunk. And then when I showed up the next day, he, like, freaked out and, like, yelled at me. And it was, it was really, but he had to be there. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? <laughs> uh, well, this one time, Maddie and I, this was a while ago, Maddie and I decided to take England's uh, tea bags and, like, dump out the tea and replace it with weed. It was so funny. You did what? Dude, it gave a whole new meaning to high tea. When did you do this to me? It was a while ago. Like, don't worry about it. It was like back in like the 70s. No, like I, I really want to know. Did I do anything? Uh, no, you just like drank it and like giggled a lot.